It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. Yeah, lots of your favorite folks in the headlines. We call it the trending topics. 411 and all your favorite peoples. Very sad to report. Uh, Monica is apparently, allegedly, supposedly, filed for divorce, divorce from Shannon Brown. Yeah. Says she filed the paperwork earlier this month in Atlanta. They have a five-year-old daughter together. Two sons from a previous relationship. No far, so far, no details on the rest of it, but I wish them both well. Salute, Monica. Salute, Shannon. Uh, Tommy Lee, who we've publicly watched um, deal with lots of challenges, will be the focus of a documentary. Fans will go follow the aspiring rapper. She navigates the industry as an indie artist, main, trying to maintain all of what she's dealing with. One particular moment from the documentary already gone viral on social media. A damn near naked, very intoxicated Tommy being seen subdued by her friends. Kind of clear that she's dealing with some kind of substance. Remember, she was just arrested and being held for showing up to a court appearance drunk. She offered... Y'all got to understand some of this stating Tommy. I know I'm not a perfect person, but I'm trying. I'm trying to find peace within myself so I can be a better role model to my young fans, a better person overall, and most importantly, a better mom to my girls. So be on the lookout for that. Someone also uh, endeavoring to be a better role model and deal with her demons of the past would be Cardi B. Lots of uh, people took note of her three-year-old post which resurfaced recently in which she bragged about dragging, uh, drugging and robbing men to survive. Led to a hashtag called Surviving Cardi B. People comparing her to assaults and allegations against R. Kelly on Tuesday. She posted a lengthy statement on social media where she said the video in question was indeed three years old. Said, I never claimed to be perfect or come from a perfect world or a perfect past. I always speak my truth and always on my own bleep. I'm part of the hip hop culture where you can talk about where you come from, talk about the wrong things you've had to go through and where you are. This is definitely somewhat of a double standard. Had a man had said the same thing, oh, they'd be canceling him right now. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Story developing. Last but not least, Jesse Smollett was exonerated, so to speak, yesterday. All charges being dropped. But the officials in Chicago not so happy about it. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said justice would not serve. Chicago's mayor, Rahm Emanuel, uh, said he used hate crimes to uh, advance his career. And the whole case was whitewashed. He even stopped by Good Morning America to offer this. He abused the city of Chicago. He actually committed a crime here. He lied about something. And remember, the grand jury indicted him when only seeing a portion of the evidence. And the fact is also, the state's attorney is saying he's actually guilty of this hoax. He's walking around saying, no, I'm innocent. Well, and you, and you I, say everything we have I said to get is to, true. You say one is right get... and one is wrong. He compared the Smollett drop charges to the recent college admission scandal, saying uh, you cannot have, because of a person's position, one set of rules apply to them and another set of rules apply to everyone else. Fast forward to the prosecutor, Kim Fox, who says Jesse got the same deal a non celeb would have, saying the public just doesn't understand how the law works. She went on uh, Chicago Today and says she understands the confusion who don't understand, uh, but she recused herself in the case, saying those who know the legal system know the likelihood that someone would get a prison sentence for a Class 4 felony is slim. So this is all still developing. Whether or not the mayor and police superintendent continue to push the item, I don't know, people. All I'm going to say is stay tuned for more. And stay tuned for trending topics when it happens again tomorrow at 430. Missed any part? Feed 103com More Big Ticket Show happens now.